20 Strange Psychological Reasons People Fall in Love Probably it's not about fate at all. Mutual attraction that binds people with bonds of love sometimes arises quite unexpectedly, and the reasons for its appearance are not at all so obvious. So maybe someone fell in love with you, or you yourself fell in love with someone because 1. You really are very, very similar. Decades of research have shown that the opposites attract cliché is completely untenable. Partners who are similar in many ways, and above all, similar as individuals, most likely, will feel the same thing every day. And this can greatly facilitate the mutual understanding of partners. Jin Gonzaga, lead author of a study of couples who met on Harmony. 2. You look like one of your partner's parents. Psychologist David Paredes of the University of Street Andrews and his colleagues found that many people like people who have the same hair and eye color as the parents of the person experiencing sympathy. And the age range of such attractive people is the same as what the sympathetic person recorded from his parents at the time of his birth. We found that women born to old parents, who were in their 30s, are not very attracted to young people. Much more they are attracted to mature male faces. In this they differ from women born to young parents, parents are less than 30 years old, and men preferred female faces, both in appearance and in age, similar to the faces of their mothers and only for long-term relationships. 3. You smell right. According to a study conducted by the University of Southern California, women during ovulation prefer the smell of t-shirts worn by men with high testosterone levels. This is combined with another instinct that is hormonal in nature. Women during the period of ovulation prefer men with a pronounced jawline. 4. You love open positions. Body language experts agree that posture says a lot more than words. Hands shoved in pockets and shoulders drawn together send a signal to others that you are not interested in them. But if a person speaks with open hands and at the same time stands in an open position, this is a clear hint that he is available for communication. There are not so many such people, and as a rule, they attract more attention from others, and from attention to falling in love, one step. 5. Your voice is higher, or vice versa, lower, than it should be. Your voice signals your interest. When women are attracted to someone, their voices become lower, and male voices, on the contrary, become higher. 6. You stared into each other's eyes for at least two minutes. University of Massachusetts psychologist Joan Kellerman's experiment involved 72 undergraduates who were strangers to each other. She asked them to pair up and look into each other's eyes for two minutes. They later said that they developed a feeling of passionate love or affection for another person. This suggests that long periods of eye contact may well connect you with someone and even arouse love in you for a person you have never met before. 7. You are tall. The study, which included 594 people, showed that tall men still attract more female attention than medium and short men. Being tall is associated with physical strength, strength of character and wealth, even if all this is just an impression. Our brains are easily fooled when it comes to a potential breeding partner. 8. You use something exciting together. In 1974, Donald Dutton and Arthur Aaron wanted to find out if there was a connection between sexual desire and a sense of danger. They asked the male subjects to walk either over a high suspension bridge or a low and sturdy one. After that, a female experimenter came out to them, asked a series of questions, and then left her phone, just in case. The men who met the woman after walking on the high suspension bridge called her, unlike the men who walked on the low bridge, Psychologists have called this phenomenon the arousal attribution error. That is, the high bridge created a feeling of arousal due to anxiety, but men mistakenly believe that arousal arose due to attraction to a woman. That's why doing exciting things together, like riding a bike or riding a roller coaster, can be a first date for many. 9. You literally warm up a date. Yale University psychologist John Bard conducted an experiment in which subjects had to hold cups of warm or cold drinks in their hands. At the same time, they had to assess the personality of another person and understand whether this personality is warm or cold. The subjects who held the warm drinks rated people's personalities as warm because the subjects' minds had already begun to reason in that direction. 
If you treat someone on a date with coffee instead of ice cream, the person will warm up to you. 10. You live nearby. It's not only important to be close to someone emotionally, you should also strive to become closer physically. Data from an experiment conducted at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology shows that the closer students' rooms were, closer their relationship was. And this happened because there was more passive interaction between them, for example, short meetings when they passed each other in the hallway of the hostel. Moments like these really helped bring them closer together. This phenomenon is known as the simple exposure effect, and it consists in the fact that friendly relations between people play a huge role in increasing mutual attractiveness. 11. You live in a beautiful house. We have all heard that women are attracted to men with nice cars, but men also seem more attractive if they are photographed in a luxurious apartment. In a study conducted by Cardiff University, a man was photographed in a relaxed pose in a luxurious, high-status apartment, and the second photograph was taken in an ordinary apartment, talking about the average status of its owner. Men with luxurious apartments seemed more attractive to the participants in the experiment. The researchers concluded that the illusion of status-related ownership had a strong influence on attractiveness, and therefore that the surroundings of a man mattered. 12. Do you have a dog? In an experiment conducted at the University of Michigan, women read short stories about men, and every time a story featured a man owning a dog, women rated the man as more attractive in the long run. This is because owning a dog signals a penchant for a permanent relationship. It also makes you seem more relaxed, approachable, and happier. 13. He or she did not like you at the first meeting. People are more likely to be drawn to someone who didn't find them attractive at first, and in doing so, irritated them far more than those who initially showed liking. This was clearly demonstrated in a 1972 study by Jerome Tognoli and Robert Keisner. The participants in the experiment accidentally heard the experimenter speak of them either in a positive or in a negative way. In the end, it turned out that the subjects liked the experimenter more, who initially assigned them a negative rating, which later became positive. This shows that people find testimonials about themselves more valuable if they are accompanied by a subsequent victory over someone. 14. You match your walking pace with your partners. A study conducted by the University of Illinois looked at walking speed. Researchers have found that men slow down their walking pace to match the pace of women, provided that they like this woman. But friends who did not have special romantic feelings for each other did not coordinate the pace of their walk. 15. Your partner is a little less or about the same handsome. In a study conducted in 1996, each test subject was rated on physical attractiveness and then sent on a date with other test subjects who were assigned at random. The subjects were then asked to report how satisfied they were with these dates. The more attractive subjects were sharper in their judgments, even if the attractiveness of both date participants was almost on the same level. That is, the better this or that person looked, the less satisfaction he received from a date. But this rule applies only to truly attractive people. As for everyone else, we, according to the hypothesis of scientists, will love those who are as attractive as we are. 16. You injected yourself with Botox. In a European study related to facial appearance and attractiveness, researchers tried to determine whether Botox could actually help women find partners. Women who underwent the Botox procedure were found by men to be more attractive and healthy, and the more procedures women underwent, the more attractive, young and healthy they were considered. 17. You smile a lot. In two experiments, researchers from Switzerland investigated the relationship between happiness and attractiveness. They found that the assessment of someone's attractiveness by others depends on how often a smile appears on that person's face. In fact, a happy facial expression can even make up for some unattractiveness. 18. You make music. Researchers from France have found that music lessons are directly related to sexual selection. In the experiment, a young man holding either a guitar case or a gym bag asked 300 random women on the street for phone numbers. If a young man had a guitar case in his hands, then most women were willing to give him their phone number. 19. You wear red. In one study from Slovakia, women who preferred red clothing were more successful in a variety of flirting scenarios. 
Researchers attribute this success to sexual signaling, as women use the color red to attract potential mates. In addition, women are also attracted to men in red, according to the Huffington Post, as the color is considered a sign of status. 20. You have a certain type of facial hair. In an experiment conducted in Australia, researchers found that women found faces with thick stubble to be more attractive compared to clean-shaven faces, faces with full beards, and faces with light stubble. In addition, the researchers also found that facial hair is associated with the perception of reproductive function. The more hair on a man's face, the more masculine a woman considered him, especially if she was in the fertile phase of her menstrual cycle at that moment. It seems that beards are associated with health and good parenting skills. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and hit notification bell so you will be notified whenever we upload a new video. Remain better.